I was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2008. It was a bit surreal. It was as if it wasn't happening to me. When you have cancer, you think that uh, you're not going to be here in another year or, you know, if that at all. Uh, my father had cancer and uh, he passed away seven months after his diagnosis. Well, I had actually done some research ahead of time on my own uh, to investigate my own disease state and understand what I was being told and understand what my options were. Actually, that's what made it uh, uh, less fearful for me, is to know that I had a plan. I wanted to make sure that the people whose uh, care I was going to entrust my um, recovery to were the right people. So uh, vetting those people was really important to me and making sure that uh, I was going to get the best care possible. I quit thinking about being fearful and I, I started thinking about um, going forward with my life and uh, knowing that uh, I had confidence in the treatment plan that uh, I would be without cancer soon. And so that was the movie that I kept running through my head. When I think about um, uh, talking to my friends and helping them to understand my disease state, it had a, it had a bit, big impact on them. Um, they all went off and, and got a PSA test as an example. Uh, I shared my concern for them and they did take care of themselves. And then they spread the word on that to other people that they knew. Uh, and because they didn't think it could happen to me either. And so when they heard that, it was a shock to them, and they made sure that they got out and, and really started looking after their health. I really began to be hopeful after my first checkup, three months after my surgery, uh, when I did get my blood work back and found out that uh, my uh, PSA level was undetectable. So it was a great moment for me to, and it was a, wow. Uh, and uh, I breathed and relaxed for really the first time in a long time, and I couldn't wait uh, to, I was making a list of people to call and let know that uh, I had gotten this good news. I guess for me it's very personal when I think about what MD Anderson and the Cancer Center will bring to the Phoenix area because it, it, it really it speaks to uh, individuals. I have friends who are very excited. Um, I have a friend who's far along in, in, um, in her uh, bout with cancer and she would love to have that, that center open at this point in time, but it's not. Yet it provided her hope. She's really excited. And that's, that's part of what excites me about it, is knowing that you know, there's individuals out there who um, need the treatment now and may need the treatment in the future that can look to MD Anderson and the Banner uh, Cancer Center uh, as a place to go to get the kind of comfort that I got when I understood uh, the, the plan that I had in place and began to become confident uh, during my recovery.